Hill, but Duke does it with D. All right, that's what starts everything for him. Look at this. And how they do? Number one is ball pressure. Number two is ball denial. And number three is help. Watch how he's here. Right here, look at Hurley. Right, causing all kinds of ball pressure. You got somebody in help right there. Right, Grand Hill's in help. All right, you're going to get beat. Look at Christopher Leitner. He's getting ready to help his VB. That allows Grand Hill to come over and get back in front of his man. There it is. Now when they pick up the dribble, guess what? It's ball pressure and denial time again. Oh, this is great. They do a marvelous job. What happens when you get beat? Help! I told you. Here it comes. And then with the help comes a double team, a steal, and yes, that's when the offense takes over. And this young man is going to be one of Duke's best, Grant Hill, because he can do it. He played 80 minutes in the final two games in the NCAA. Look at Wadan. Wadan with the block, and Thomas Hill takes it right back up for the first two. Thomas Hill could be the reason that Billy McCaffrey transferred. Intensity. As you know, McCaffrey transferred, went over to Vanderbilt. Wadan. That's he what makes up from just off top of the free throw line. That's what makes him special. He can shoot the long range. Oh! Middleton is shot. Dickie, do you remember that in the semifinal game against UNLV, that play and it blew it open late. Great look. There's the diagonal pass. Tremendous legs. Mr. Hill. Grant Hill. Look at that intensity. The young South sensation. I really Dan, Buchanan got in foul trouble where Dan was hurt, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah, but Dan came up with that uh, pull or a tear, actually, of the calf muscle. He didn't move at all. That's what makes Leighton so special. He can pop out to the perimeter and play like a number three man, like a wing player. He's an excellent passer. Brian Davis gets the quick first step. Oh, no. Jordan comes up. Hey! Oh, hey! Bill Leighton had to handle the ball between his legs. He can hit this. He can shoot that. So we'll take it with him. 16-29 left until halftime. Times when he takes a pass, he never puts it on the floor. If he takes it straight up and shoots. He catches, turns, and shoots the basketball. Leighton with the left hand. Anderson Hunt, that was absolutely a, a no-no going out early. Don't even get drafted and being caught when he could have been a star this year at UNLV. Dick, the last time these two clubs played, that was in the regional last year, the regional finals. 26 turnovers, 17 on steals. First points for Seeley, and it came at the 14-22 mark. Well, Seeley got free because of the dribble penetration by Buchanan. He made that happen. They're going to try to double up on Leighton, and he'll find the open man. It's by Dunk City. A little dip. Yep. Thomas is another one that doesn't. He and Davis, neither one, get quite as much pub as... The other three. See, I would take Leighton as my first pick of the NBA. Sealy now goes to the box inside. Just knows how to score. Hollentine High School, they were national champs when he played with Adrian Autry of Syracuse and Mr. Brian Lisa, North Carolina. Grand Hill. Just so easy. Sealy <laughs> loses it. Here comes Hurley. One and one. one. Oh, what a play! Watch this tape. Watch around the back. Ala Bob Cousy. There he goes around the back. All of the magic man lays it on a glass with the left hand. Count it. Go. Well, they got a lot of questions. In some ways, it's, it's a compliment because I'm not a, the banger type, you know, the power play. That I might be a little more um, smooth and athletic than people are used to seeing from someone 6'11". Well, here's how they've been with him. 91 and 24 in their NCAA record, 15 and 2 three final fours with him. I think he's the premier senior in America. I don't think it's even close anymore. Al close anymore. Alonzo certainly can give him a running because Alonzo's so tough inside. But those two guys really are head and shoulder over everyone else. I think of that senior class in terms of their future. Clark oh, what a nice, nice run. Hit. Hello. Difficult, especially look at that play right here. That was created by Mr. Leitner. What size? It gives him size, talent. David Kane drives the lane. To see that Vegas team. I mean, this team is certainly going to be beatable on a given night. They're not, they're not going to go undefeated. I'll guarantee you that. Lee Green with the errant pass stolen and the no look pass to Parks. Can't get it to go. And this one, the it's high it. percentage. Then he coached at West Point. He was a member of their staff when he had those great teams at Indiana. Time 
Thomas Hill working against Jason McKenna. They run their motion game, screening for one another, emptying out, getting good spacing, all the elements of a good offensive club. And they try to ISO and use the dribble penetration. See, there it is, the dribble penetration, making things happen. Thank you, Oh, wow. Mayberry. About to go under six minutes, as you can see, until half time. Almost went to Syracuse, Jimmy Beheim. You almost had him, he told me. Middleton and Foster almost prevented him from going back up his own teammates. Foster gives him a big, strong guy in the lane. Oh, what a great pass to the right. Watch this right now. He's going to throw it right to the proper hand. And there's the rotation to the basket. Parks by all teams do you see it in football teams that really all the special situations they win uh, nice back to count it he'll go to the line that's going to be on Laker he's going to be uh, played for John Sarandria in high school is now an assistant second lieutenant for Paul Evans there's the backdoor cut and then he protects the ball he knows they're going to rotate over him. wow look at Layton against the big people and these are great big people check those numbers out he has always been the winner. I mean, head to head, especially look at the first three guys. I mean, those are three big time players. Morning O'Neill and Miller. It was 66 and I believe 16 in his first two years. Unbelievable winner. There's a dump down. Good look. For Traveling call to hear the first half stats. Duke 48 percent. St. John's 41. The rebounding actually not that. I mean, uh, 24 to 8 in that lane. A lot of that created with that dribble penetration and the isolation of spreading the court that we talked about. We're down with the block there, Christian Leitner, and you can't. Not a player who's been up and down in his career. His freshman year, he struggled. Sophomore year, he backed up Boo Harvey. His four minutes, these four minutes will make or break St. John's. They're going to get back in the game. Look at this guy handle the right. He wants it back. He wants it back. Curly says, no, Hill, I'm going to. Right here, 18-17, left to play in this second half, and Duke, the top-ranked team in the nation, up by 16. A little, he's got a quarterback in his own right there, and his son, Sean, who's become such a solid player. Grand Hill with the Watch speed. him handle the rock, baby. Look at him handle the rock. Here they go. Here comes the spur. Here comes blowout, baby. Jason Buchanan, and that will be an offensive foul against Buchanan. You really are in a bind if you're Louis Clark. Coach K would, would uh, have a lot of trust in me and, and allow me to do a lot of things out there. And really, it doesn't matter where I play. Uh, I think, you know, because our, our quickness, it creates difficult, difficult matchups. Usually, I'm checking the second big man, and he has to check me. So it's easier for me to leave some pressure off of, uh, of Bobby bringing the ball for court. Grant Hill. He almost went to North Carolina. That was initially his first first choice and then he went down to Duke he met with Mike Krzyzewski saw the people there and said no I'm going to become a Duke Blue Devil oh yeah oh yeah he's awesome baby with a capital A he's one of the great swing men in college basketball and will be one of the greats of all time in a Duke uniform Gwen Hill Dishes to the corner and strolling. Knocks the hill. What a talent. Well, here goes Duke starting at a little 1 4 foul lane extend. They're going to run a high post screen. Thomas Hill. Oh, my goodness. What an explosive move. It's four fouls and Jason Buchanan. So he. Has to go to the bench, and David Keane, number 11, comes back in for St. John. Tommy Amica's record, the fine point guard, now an assistant of 708 assists, is going to be history because Hurley is going to pass that record. There's another one. He embarrassed by this Duke team here today. There's the steal. Here comes Hurley. There's the great look. And there's the conversion, and here comes the pressure. Grant Hill. And there's Tommy Amica. This guy's going to be a heck of an assistant coach. Sitting next to him is one of the real, real important people to this program. Peter Gadette, former head coach at West Point, who does all their scouting repairs and gets them out. Look at a look for one another. Are you serious? I mean, what are they not doing, Ron Franklin? You know, I'm just sitting here thinking, the poor, this St. John's basketball team is a very talented crew. You're talking a top 10 team in America that's playing right here. 
Oh, here they go. Little showtime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. That is phenomenal. To bring away help and try to isolate people for some cuts to the goal. Now they go to a 1-4 set. About to That's go under 13 minutes left in this one. Some call it 1-4, some call it a 1-2-2. Shot clock is now to six, down to five. Oh, oh, yeah. This is awesome. This is the three S performance. Super scintillating and sensational. There it is. Dumping it away. Hold me back, Mr. Franklin. Over 34 times against the University of Detroit. Mercy. They may be screaming mercy. Those young kids are going to get a little baptism. The Webbers and company and their great talent. It's a whole different level. Well, David, while it's amazing, the unpredictability about college basketball, that's what makes it so special. You can read that graphically and see all the clubs that have went down already. But that's the beauty of what college basketball is about, the fact that it is so unpredictable. And I think that's what makes it so special. Good player and a good shooter. He's got to go a long way to be better than his brother, his big brother. 73-54, 19-point game. That one spurt, they got to put that on film and save it. It was one unbelievable moment. The storyline, do 31 of 33 from the free throw line. 94% Leitner, you see his number is extremely impressive. St. John's violation and a blowout. And if Mike doesn't break up combinations, no telling what the margin could have been. 31 points was the biggest lead of the night, as I mentioned a moment ago. Ceiling, hustling for the ball, that's three of it goes. Yes, I'll tell that you gives what, him 30 points. Let's look at the challenge so far, in case you've not been keeping up with it. Scott Burrell with 20 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds to lead Connecticut over Wake Forest. Then Pitt against North Carolina State. Tom Gugliotta, 25 points and 8 boards. NC State won that one. Then the Florida State and Syracuse. This is the game that the Dick was talking about. Dave Johnson, 29 points, 7 of 11 from three-point range. Georgia Tech and Villanova. Tech wins it handily. James Forrest, 19 points, 9 boards. He's playing Meek on the floor right now, too, Mike. Curly with the feed, and Davis right there. Squirt him. Let's finish off the ACC Big East Challenge. Then the Providence in Maryland, Walt Williams, what a night. 20 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and Maryland wins it by 10. And then uh, Seton Hall in North Carolina, George Lynch, 13 points, 14 boards. And North Carolina wins a huge. Well, and in case you missed this one tonight, in overtime, Virginia by 10. Brian, Bryant Stiff with 24 points and six rebounds. Stiff with a great night. Reverses it and scores, and he'll go to the line. Hasn't been able to get in their rotation of their top nine players. Seeley, 37 of them. He's a machine now. He's 81. Duke wins it. John Summers, back to you. All right, Ron and Dick, thank you very much. St. John's battle in point game. As a result, the ACC with a nice sweep of the night. Sports Center comes away with Gary Miller and Dan Patrick in just a moment. But the scoreboard, Duke, Virginia, NC State, Maryland, Georgia Tech, and North Carolina winners, Syracuse and Connecticut.